family life. How does social media influence it? Well, I just gave you an example how social media does impact your family. But really, it's going to go back to conservative principles because, see, social media is going through its own set of things. Like, it was in its infancy. You have to remember, a lot of people that used to be on Facebook aren't on Facebook anymore. Mm. Uh, not that I, I'm saying that that's a bad thing. There's a lot of people that were removed from Facebook. Mm. So, um, it's not going to really matter to those people. To me, in the scriptures, without vision, people perish. So, in October, we were planning to do this, and it was a couple of days before I had to leave, and it goes back to something I think is going to be very relevant. And while the mainstream media will not argue about those type of topics, it is very relevant. Mm. And the more you know about this topic, the more you know about comma ping pong and pizza gate, you'll know what it is that's going on. So having traveled through Oklahoma and coming back up here, I met some people from Montana, met a lot of people at a lot of the, you know, different types of protests. So to me, when you put your money where your mouth is, you have to realize that there's a lot of people that do not want anyone out there to argue about something as important as the safety of your children. I go to hashtag our children matter. It's going to be very relevant. You know, find out more about this topic. I'm not an expert. I just know I took journalism 101. Mm -hmm. Like when you take politics 101 or journalism, you, you learn a lot about the deeper things. Like what is government? What is established in heaven? Like here it's not. All right. So, We'll see how things are set straight. I, I don't have a lot of hope for what happens with this election. I think down the road, though, see, today, this, what you see going on now is going to set the tone for what's going on in the next 10 years. Mm. I still believe President Trump is going to be reelected. Mm. I don't think there's any hope for those who challenge President Trump. I, I mean, I'm just saying, I, I look at it as a locked. It's very rare that anybody leaves, like... At this point, like if anybody had to, it would be have to be like something very relevant, you know. That's why when we see what's going on with the Republican Party, we still want to see the candidates. Don't get me wrong; it could it could go it could change. I mean, I just personally think once you see things get better, mm -hmm. and you see we want to see a Reagan administration type of conservatism back in America, you know, like we want to see the Reagan years restored back because right. you're going to see those tax cuts and you're going to see it down the road the thing is is that we watch as this corruption is being cleaned up so when you start to see the things that are put in place and replacing those old policies because it was by policy all this stuff was being pushed for including the ACA mm -hmm. so when you start seeing the policymakers done doing what the policymakers do you will see things change. Mm. You will see how it really works, like how efficient government can be. It has to be less government. All right. That's how, that is the design of United States government. Like it was not designed to be this big. Like once they clean it out and downsize it back to where it needs to be, all right, you can get back to conservative principles. And the point is, is that less government, the less, like you don't want 
the commander in chief to be doing all the stuff the commander in chief has been going through with this, the type of decisions, but to roll back all the executive privileges that the Obama administration had pushed for it, you'd have to undo everything and start over. And look about what happened with pro-life. When you see uh, the pro-life agenda was a lie from the start, uh, it, 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 there's the, it, it's gone. It's, it doesn't work. You, you cannot continue uh, with that Roe v. Wade argument. They're going to have to re-argue it in the Supreme Court. Mm. Jane Roe admitted to lying. Mm. That was very key. I talked to the organizer of the pro-life march before she passed away. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're going to see is going to be important when it comes to the decision on life. All right, like it's going to be, it's going to be back on the Supreme Court, like it was in 1973. Mm -hmm. And this time, mm -hmm. we got a lot of things to say about how many people's lives have been impacted by abortion. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. I'm just saying, you're going to see why it is important to have conservative judges on the Supreme Court, especially after Chief Justice Scalia.